Hi, welcome to the Saxon Bradley Training and Professional Development site. My name is Dennis Purcell, and here's a quick tip on how to use the math tools, which are located uh, in your notebook toolbar in the actions section of that toolbar. Uh, there you're going to find when you select measurement tools, you have four tools available. One is the ruler. And using these tools are hotspots, so you notice the ruler has a dark area. If you click and hold or touch and hold that, you can move it. Grab this light area at the end, you can change the length of that ruler. I can also still use the resize handle to resize it. The top light band that you rotate it, and notice it also shows you the angle of incline. This band on the bottom does the same thing. So it's good to know how to control that. And also, when you select a pen, if I try to write, draw a straight edge freehand, it's kind of hard, but if you initiate that on this ruler, you can see it acts as a straight edge. So you can use that to create, when I turn off the pen, I'm going to click and move this. I can use it to create uh, diagrams, angles. Here I've made a diagram that a, a math teacher, and I'm going to drop down, delete, might use to create a proof. Add a new page. Protractor works the same way. Dark area, so you grab and move it. Middle, resize. Outside, rotate. If I touch and release on this dark area, it gives me handles. Green handle lets me resize and create an angle. There's 45 degrees. Whenever you see the large arrow, lets you produce or inject what you created onto the page. A new page. And last, I'll use the compass. And when I use the compass, I typically will put some paper background. So in the gallery, I'm going to search for paper, go to backgrounds, and I'm going to add some grid paper. Notice that stays above or on top of that grid paper. I'm going to move this by grabbing this dark area. Anywhere in that dark area, I can grab that and line it up with intersecting lines. To resize, I grab an arm, the arm with the pen, to resize it to create my radius. I can change the pen color, and it changes the color of the pen on the compass. I'm going to make it purple. When I click and, or touch and hold on the colored air part of the pen, it, I can grab and move it. And then I can resize again to make a new radius. Change color again. Create a new circle. So those are some tips on how to use those measurement tools in Notebook.